<laughs> Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am just a little bit excited, as you can tell, because I managed to get my hands on the Beast Snagger Orc army set. Uh, I am raring to get this thing opened and show you all what's inside. So without further ado, I have my trusty hobby knife handy. Let's get slicing, hopefully not slicing myself. Um, while I'm cutting, for those of you who are wondering, I'm currently wearing Boris the microphone squig on my shoulder. He's here to help me. And I am ably assisted by my handy camera grot. I'm not a grot. <laughs> I will pay for that later. Ooh, okay, so first things first, it looks like it's actually got a box art sleeve. Ooh, that's shiny. Just pull that up so you can get a better look. That's the artwork on the front there. So that's its pet, right? That is a giant cave squigasaurus. That is the great white cave squigasaurus, I think. There are other squigasauruses. There are many different kinds of squigasauruses. That is the great white. I think it's called bitey. Let's find out. Okay, so tab at the side. Boris's dead cat's just fallen off. Boris, no! Stay. We'll figure <laughs> out Boris one day. <laughs> Uh, okay. By the way, your channel may wonder, what's up with your t-shirt? Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, you can get really awesome White Dwarf print t-shirts from the Games Workshop merchandising section. I've got about six of these, got a couple of them as early birthday presents. Um, there's some orcs on this, there's like an orky hand coming in on the right there, so that's probably appropriate. One thing I've just noticed from the box art actually, and I'll just bring you back to that, what the, and I can't remember his name, but he's detailed in the codex, which we'll get Call to in a minute. A fan. Hey, I haven't even cracked the codex open yet. One thing I've noticed is he is, of course, fighting the death court of Krieg on this cover art. And for those of you who've been following Warhammer community this week, you'll have known that the Kill Team set that's been released includes plastic Orc Commandos and plastic Death Corps of Krieg, complete with that all important Krieg weapon, the shovel. So let's see what we get inside the box. Uh, first things first, nice big bag of bases. Is it fair to say that what's in the box is a whole load of plastic? Yes, well to be fair, it's a whole load of plastic held inside a whole load of plastic. But it looks like we've got an idea now as to how big the uh, Squig Hog Rider guys are going to be on. They're going to be on oval sized bases. Um, about the same size I think as the Ball Boys kit comes with. Uh, but then I haven't got a tape measure handy, so I can't tell you precisely. Oh, hang on, there's a... You the, don't have a tape measure. I, uh, no, but I do have a craft excuse mat. Me, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, that centimetre is what inches. It is... Where's the zero mark there? Uh, three inches. Yeah. Three by... Three inch oval base. One and three quarters. And the head nut squig that the boss rides uh, is on a much larger oval base. It looks like... Four and a half? Yeah. Three and a half. Four's the next line. Oh, four's the next line. Okay. I Maths. can measure... My... Maths. I can measure distances on a tape measure. At least I can do that. Okay. So, we have got uh, Nazgrod Wartsnagger, a classic character back from the dead. Uh, I can't wait to dive into the Codex and find out exactly how much of his background they've kept the same. From what I've been reading on the Warhammer community site, it looks as though, for the most part, they've kept it all intact. So he's still got his super runts, he's still an exiled pain boy, exiled for treating grots better than they ought to be. Uh, whether they keep in any of the stuff like him finding an ancient book on orc philosophy, we'll find out. Uh, next thing we've got, I think this is the head nut squig. Yeah, this is the boss's head nut squig sprue. Uh, Somewhere on here, let's find it, is the... Got his big chopper, his big cannon oh, on there. Chainsaw. That's his Ouge chopper. What are you looking for? I'm looking for his he for, the, for the head plate that's got the great big round metal sort of centre plate on. Maybe it's on one of the other sprues. Let's you keep know looking. It's even there. Well, because I've seen the pictures on the box art. So if we look on the back of the box, uh, he's got a great big metal plate in his forehead. Mm. And it will be interesting, because if it's on the rest of the squig hog sprue, which it is, that confirms that these must all be part of one set. So when these get released separately, it Are will you be... Are sure they'll be released separately? Uh, these will all be released separately. I'm going on the basis that the last time Games Workshop did an army set 40k like this was the Sisters of Battle, and everything contained in the Sisters of Battle set was eventually released separately. But what this means is there was some speculation online as to whether he was a character sprue that would be released separately to the Squig Hog Riders. Given that part of his pieces are on the Squig Hog Rider sprues, that confirms he is some kind of champion upgrade. 
But yeah, Squeak Hogs. Uh, Do you want to place a bet on that? I'll place a wager with you on that. What's a suitable wager? If I win, you have to give me a game of ninth edition with your Tyranids against these orcs. <gasps> oh, God. Yeah, and we film it. What? Yep. So you get to be on camera playing 40k. I have no basis to know the legitimacy of this bet I'm about <laughs> to make. What happens if you win? Oh. <gasps> I know. We do a video playing Carcassonne. Repeatedly. On <laughs> what? loop. Until you win. Just to show how far I can win. Okay, no, that's a deal. I'll give it that. Um, as I was saying, Squig Hog Riders, um, these are, I think these are the replacements for the old Boar Boy Riders that they had in 2nd Ed 40k. Um, they've got a lot of the same features down to things like wheels for the back legs, bionic bits, um, the big red button to uh, power them up. Uh, yeah, so I'm fairly sure that these are what these are supposed to be uh, replacement for. Yeah, we are. There's the, the exhaust, which absolutely screams like the old cyborgs that you got in second ed orcs. Uh, so I'm fairly sure that these are what they were going to replace the uh, orc boar boys for. And actually what would be quite nice would be when these get released on general release, maybe to buy a second set and buy a set of the gore grunters that they do for Age of Sigmar, smash those two sets together and make some orky sets, as, uh, some orky boar boys riders as well to go with it. What I haven't decided yet, because I haven't seen what's inside the codex yet, is whether or not these guys are going to be painted up as snake bites and be their own little separate kind of sub-clan section of my army, or whether they're going to get painted up in goth colours or blood axe colours to go with the other two clans that currently make up my army. Okay, foolish question. Yep. Why does the codex decide that? Why don't you decide that? Because I want to know whether or not it's worth painting them up as snake bites. The goth rules as they stand in 8th edition are really, really good. I mean, in terms of they get extra attacks, uh, they get like extra points of strength and stuff. Whereas the snake bite rules, they're, they're okay, but they're not as strong, I would say, as the goth rules. So I want to see how they match up in the new codex because I have heard that they've been changed. Um, so what you're saying is, I'm munchkinning which, it a little which bit. Which way round it looks like you're most likely to win? Yeah, I'm going to munchkin it a little bit. Right. What happened to you playing for fun? I'm playing for fun. I'm also playing to win. Okay. You At can do both. Won. At least you're honest. There is nothing to stop you doing both. Um, okay, next thing I can see, Dan, is these are the Beast Snagger Boys themselves. Um, I'll just have a quick look. It looks like you get... Ah, there goes the there box. There goes the box. Two, two identical sprues. So it's... There's 20 Beast Snagger Boys in this box. I would hazard a guess that when these get released separately, it's probably going to be 10 Beast Snaggers to a box, and you'll get one of these sprues per Beast Snagger box. Uh, yeah, I speculate that these are going to be one box of 10. Uh, much akin to how the Orc Boys sets are at the moment, because at the moment you get, I think, 12 Orc Boys in a box, and I suspect that when the new Orc Boys kit comes out as well, that will come down to 10. In terms of when all of this will become in available separately, Games Workshop haven't said, but going off the basis that when the Sisters of Battle had their army set released, that got released November 2019, and then all the things that were contained within the Codex, the data cards, uh, the, the new sister sprues, all of those got released exactly two months later in the January. So my money is on September for general release for the Orky stuff. Um, so I haven't looked at the Codex yet. So again, I don't know what exactly a lot of this stuff does. Um, I've seen some of the releases uh, that have been on the Warhammer community page, so I know that they've got some powered down versions of power claws. Ah! I think you're being attacked by a tiny orc. <laughs> being attacked by a tiny tiger. I need, bought, I need uh, Zoggrod Wart Snagger. He's best at handling runs. Go on, get her. Get her. He's not built yet. She's going to win. She is, this is true. But look, he's got like a big crabby claw. But I'm, I can bite it right off. But you've just eaten tea. Yeah, you have just eaten your tea. Um, in terms of stuff that you can see on here, so here, where my thumb is, I think this is one of the sort of toned down power claws. So these aren't as potent as the doubled strength power claws that we've seen previously, but they probably give a bonus to strength and armor penetration. Um, I'm just having a quick look to see if I can spot, supposedly, here it is, yeah, down here at the bottom. Yeah, I think this is the, the, the shooty weapon option, the heavy weapon option for this. I think it's called the thumper gun or something like that or thud gun, uh, once I look in the codex, I'll be able to tell you. Uh, but yeah, there's some loads of lovely options on there. And once again, whether these guys become goths or snake bites, that'll be determined once I see what the clan rules do. Uh, I say goths, they might become blood axes, but I suspect they're probably a little bit too feral to be in the blood axes. They're not you know, neatly polished or wearing uniforms 
or painted purple. Um, we can fix painting them purple. Two lovely bits I've just come across in here. There's uh, a piece of custom artwork tucked away in here. Now, there's two copies of this. Do you reckon it's the same in every box? I don't know. Well, it's double-sided. There's two copies of it. I do know that the codex that you get in this box has What's a... On the other side? Same side. Same image on both sides. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I do wonder is the codex that comes in this set has uh, custom artwork on it. So it's got the, the same artwork that's on the box lid that I just threw on the floor over there by accident. It's down here somewhere. Yeah. Casualty. It's got this artwork on the front of the codex, and it's a special limited edition codex that you can only get in this box set. What I do wonder is whether what I am holding in my hands here could well be the cover for the general release sort codex. It had a barcode on the other side. It does indeed, which would fit nicely if it was wrapped around something, for example. But that's going in a frame and going on the wall in my geek house, I reckon. Because that is lovely. Got two, or do you think there's two in every box? I don't. If you've got a set of the Beast Snagger Army Deal yourself, uh, leave a comment below if you could, just to let me know whether or not you got two or got a piece of the artwork oh, as well. Yeah. yeah, leave me a comment down below just to tell me whether or not it came with one copy of the artwork or two copies of the artwork. And if it's two, did you get the same artwork, or right. did other people get different ones? Ah, oh, this is true. Um, I'm tempted to give one of these away as a gift, maybe, or as a prize. One thing again, I've just noticed is. They are fighting the Death Corps of Krieg again. But yeah, can you see the humans that are being, the, the filthy Umis who are being fought in this here picture? Uh, guys on horseback okay. and... Yeah. So yeah, once again, we've got Death Corps of Krieg here. Now we know that Krieg are getting a standard infantryman plastic uh, sprue. I do wonder again if this leads towards a larger Krieg release, whether we've, we've got plastic orc cavalry in this set, whether or not as and when the Imperial Guard, Astra Militarum, uh, get their own codex, whether they will he get a heavy guard release in much the same way that the Orcs are getting a fantastic heavy Orc release as and when their codex comes out. But I'm going to crack open the codex now and we'll see what the artwork inside is like. Who's the pincer guy? The uh, big, big blocky pincer guy at the back. Right there. That one? Nope. That one. That one? Nope. That one? Yep. That's a death dread. That is an Orky Death Dread, um, although in one of my future videos you'll see my attempts at making a Mega Dread uh, to go with these art guys, uh, to make it extra shooty and extra stompy. Uh, but I'll share that in a later video. I uh, hope you enjoy looking at that. So what's in the box, in the rest of the box then? Let's get into the codex. Okay, so, oh, there's something else hiding under the codex. Under the codex, this set comes with a nice little Orc transfer sheet. So that's got symbols for all the major clans. Which uh, is your favourite, Rosa? Which one do you think Rosa, is the best, Rosa? Which one? I think I like, like the little moony ones. <laughs> what does I that like mean? That Sorry, horrible, what did I just horrifying say? shame of finding out that your wife is a secret bad moon. But they're funky. What about I you? like these snakes. Where are the snakes? <gasps> oh, you like the snakes. I'm assuming Daddy doesn't like the snakes. The snakes are okay. The snakes are clan snake bite, which, as you heard me say earlier, could well be what these guys get painted. Oh. Um, for reference for the two of you, goths, sorry, goths are these uh, nice horned skulls over here, and blood axes, which is one of the other clans that I've got painted up at the moment, are these guys over here. I know a lot of people call uh, blood axes umi loving traitors, uh, but A, they'll say that right up until the moment that an orc commando sneaks up next to them painted purple and shivs them in the guts and b oh, i quite like them i've got some fun conversions i don't know with those i'll perhaps just um if i give those to you you can throw those up on the video uh, we'll do another video in the future then of the blood axe parts of my army and then a separate one maybe on the goth parts of my army but enough i am getting into this codex no you're not it's covered in plastic i'm getting oh instructions for building these things on the back you don't need those no does daddy need instructions the best way to build anything orky is, of course, to just cut all the bits out, pour it into a bag, pour in a load of glue and give it a good shake and see what comes out. But that sounds like fun. Let's see what we've got in the codex. Just realised the codex is nearly the same size as the image on the T-shirt. Nearly lifelike. I, I suspect there may have to be an Orky t-shirt at some point to go with this. I've got, uh, I think it's White Dwarf 182 or something like that, which is a nice Speed Freak Orky t-shirt, but maybe I can do a Beast Snagger Orky t-shirt at some point. So this Isn't is... just the Incredible Hulk? This is... No, it's not the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> These guys make the Incredible Hulk look like a like nappy-wearing baby. 
Uh, the This is the special edition codex, so this is the cover art, and actually on the back, it's got a nice little bit, Beast Snagger's motto. Live off the land, go to find war, kill what comes close, the old ways is best. Okay, so let's crack open the codex. You're not gonna sniff it first. No, I'm not gonna sniff, I'll get high on the fumes. <laughs> but listen, Spine Creek, Spine Creek of a newly opened book. Okay, I will come back to that in a minute. One last thing I haven't opened uh, yet, that is the Orc Data Cards. Again, these have come in a nice Beast Snagger uh, limited edition custom box. Do you want to have a look at these with me, Rosa? Yeah. Let me crack or open them. you just want to rip the plastic off? There we go, you can have the plastic. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, so here we've got, it looks like, all the Orc psychic powers. Got uh, generic Orc psychic powers. And then it looks like we also get specialist Beast Snagger Orc psychic powers. And then we have got a ton of stratagem cards. So that's an easy way to keep track of what stratagems are being used during the game. That's gonna come in dead useful, that will. Put those back in their box. Right. Okay, um, before I dive into the codex, let's just check, make sure there's nothing else hiding in the box. Uh, no, no what commandos under there. Well, they are sneaky. There was always the possibility that they'd snuck some into the box. Isn't it more likely they'd snuck some out when they'd <laughs> run away? Orcs don't run away. They just regroup so they can come around and smack you again. I'm going to dive into the codex now. Uh, it certainly looks like it's going to be a lovely addition to my previous codexes. Codices? It looks like a lovely addition. Like, whatever, I'm an orc. Uh, <laughs> Boris's squid cover's fallen off again. <laughs> um, I will do uh, another video. I need to put Boris's squid cover back on then, don't I? Wait, what is that? I can't get it to go on. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boris! Know. No! Boris! Uh, okay, I'll take a proper look at the codex now. Uh, I will do another video. Uh, once I've had a chance to have a proper look at this, give you my first impressions. Uh, for now though, pl please, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and that'll click notifications, that'll let you know when I get the next video up. First page. Orcs, the ground shakes beneath their iron shod boots. The air quivers with their bellowing and raucous glee. The skies darken with clouds of dust and choking black smoke, thrown up by the passage of their endless numbers and ramshackle war engines. Unnatural green energies leap and crackle. Jessalt alien war lust and savage excitement made manifest. Then they're charging. An unstoppable avalanche of muscle, fangs, roaring saw blades and thundering guns. As they surge forwards, their war cry rings out like thunder. War! 